Former Boston drummer Sib Hashian has died. He collapsed on stage on a cruise ship. I'm John Bone from Rock History Music. He was a guy who played drums on those first very successful Boston albums. He was actually on stage with a, another guy who was on those first two Boston albums, Barry Goudreau, playing classic Boston songs when he collapsed mid-set. They tried CPR, but to no avail. He had died. The pair were on the Legends of Rock cruise going through the Caribbean with many other rockers, including former Foreigner lead singer Lou Graham. He was born John Thomas Sib Hashian on August 17, 1949. The Armenian-Italian-American actually replaced Boston's original drummer, Jim Mastia, at the record company's request for their debut. Hashian played on most of their hits, More Than a Feeling, Long Time, Peace of Mind from their debut album released on August 25, 1976 and their sophomore album, Don't Look Back, from August 2nd, 1978, featuring the title song, A Man I'll Never Be, and Feeling Satisfied. After a long legal battle between Tom Scholz and Epic Records, they moved to MCA after about six years. Sib was involved in Third Stage, the next album, for a little while, at least in the early stages, until Jim Mastia, the original drummer, came back. Then there was a legal battle between Scholz and Hashian, and it was settled out of court. Sib is survived by his wife Suzanne, his son Adam, daughters Asia, and Lauren Hashian. He has several grandchildren. In fact, daughter Lauren has been with Dwayne The Rock Johnson since 2007. I was 16 years old when I first got this album and turned it around and was urged to listen to the record many times in the liner notes. But there was Sib in between Tom Schultz, the leader of the band, and Brad Delp, the lead singer of the band, who we lost to suicide on March 9th, 2007. Like you, probably, I played this album over and over again. And even though people criticized the next one, I liked it just as much. Okay, not as much. But I liked it because it sounded like this album an awful lot. Big part of rock and roll history. There was, uh, it's a, you should look it up, there's a plumber's video where two of Sib Hashian's friends who are plumbers visit his basement and help him out with a few things where you can see he proudly has his gold and platinum records for the first three albums because like I mentioned he was involved at least in the early stages of third stage all over his basement. He was proud of the work that he had done with Boston, not so happy with the way it ended. He had often said during the latter years of his life that he was not happy with the drumming sound or the drumming mix of the first album. He thought the drumming was actually mixed too low. Now, as a drummer, I never noticed that, and I loved his drumming parts on the first album, even though I hear it's note for note what Jim Mastia had done until he stepped in and redid the whole thing. But it doesn't matter. It sounded fantastic and I'll leave it up to Sib to be the expert on how the drum sounded on that first album. He died playing the music that he loved on a cruise ship. I know he was too young but there's worse ways to die. May he rest in peace. Man what a great drummer he was and a nice guy. Make sure you comment on our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you share our videos we'd appreciate that. I'm John Bowden this is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.